Hello everyone, my name is Fusum Tlaun. Today I'll show you how to calculate rainfall residuity factor using ArcMap search here. But in order to do that, first we need to have equation. So as you see from this table, we have different equations which are developed by different authors in order to be employed for different countries. As you see in the number one, we have this equation. This equation is developed by this author in 1985. So this equation can be employed in Ethiopia and Egypt. So today I'll show you how to calculate this rainfall receptivity factor using this equation. But in order to employ this equation, first we need to calculate this factor or this variable, which is mean annual precipitation. So this is my raw data. So in this raw data, we have monthly precipitation. So first, we need to calculate mean annual rainfall. So how can we calculate mean annual rainfall? So select this one, go to auto sum, then calculate sum. So this is the sum of monthly data or in this year which is in 1985 so we have the total rainfall of this year so we do the same for all years so after doing this we are going to calculate the mean annual rainfall go to here click average so this is the mean annual rainfall for this area or we let me call it station one. So, so this is the mean annual rainfall for the station one. So in my watershed or in my study area, I have around 10 stations. So my first station is this one. So as I have shown you in this calculation, our mean annual rainfall is 827.496. So this is the mean annual rainfall. So come to station two, do the same. Calculate the total of this year, then do the same for all years, then calculate the average. And then you'll get the mean annual rainfall for all the stations. So this is the mean annual rainfall or mean annual precipitation for all the stations. As I have told you, I have 10 stations, so these are the mean annual rainfall for all stations. So after preparing this, so this means, let me call this one, mean annual precipitation. Let me use abbreviation. So after preparing this table, go to ArcMap, open your ArcMap, open your ArcMap. Then go to file, then add data, add XY data, then bring your Excel sheet, then check you have longitude in X field and the latitude in Y field, then come here in the edit, then use the, for example, go to project coordinate system, expand that then go to UTM, then WGS 1984, then North Hemisphere, because we are, I'm in Ethiopia, so Ethiopia is in North Hemisphere, in 37 North UTM zone, so I'll look for WGS 1984, UTM zones 37 North, so then after Choosing this, click OK. So these are my stations. So after doing that, go to here in table of contents, right click and the, go to data and the export your data. Then give output, output name. Let me call it weather station, weather stations. 
the zero station click ok now we are converting the temporal data to permanent so we don't need this one so these are our stations in our watershed so bring your shape file of your watershed So this is the shape file of my watershed. Then I have five, uh, ten stations in my watershed. So the next thing is we are going to create a raster file, which is mean annual precipitation raster file for this watershed. How can we do that? We have to interpolate. We have only mean annual precipitation only for ten stations, but we need mean annual precipitation for the whole watershed. So how can we get the mean annual rainfall or precipitation for the whole watershed? We have to interpolate. So how can we interpolate? Go to Arcton box and then the spatial analysis tools. Then look for interpolation. Then you have IDW inverse distance weights method. Double click on that. Then bring your input which is weather station then our z value is mean annual rainfall then let me give it name let me give it idw weather station then go to environment processing units the same layer as the watershed then Go to raster analysis, choose your watershed, use as specified below, then click OK, then click OK. So now we'll get, I think there is some error, let me fix that error. OK, I think the problem is with the, with the output raster name. So bring your stations, our z value is mean annual precipitation, then leave the default name, I'll leave the default name, environment, processing, the same layer as your watershed, then raster analysis, your watershed, as specified below okay 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 click okay oh my god let me try it again click okay let me give it different name Let me keep my own name. Let me call it IDW3. Save. Then go to environments. Processing. The same as your watershed. Raster analysis. Your watershed. Click OK. Click OK again. I think now it is working. So this is our raster file for mean annual precipitation for our watershed. So this is our equation. So now we have mean annual precipitation. So in order to calculate the rainfall erosivity factor for the whole watershed, copy this then go to arc toolbox then map algebra expand that double click on raster calculator then paste your equation then replace this mean annual precipitation by your IDW or raster file 
which is the mean annual precipitation raster height for our watershed. Then give its name. Let me call it R fracture. R fracture. Then click save and click OK. So at the end of this process, we'll get the raster file for rainfall erosivity factor for our watershed. So let me uncheck this one. So this is rainfall erosivity factor for our watershed. So we have different different rainfall erosivity at different parts of parts of the watershed. So you can change the color. So if you click on identify and uh, choose any place, you'll get the rainfall erosivity factor of. So you can do or you can calculate the rainfall erosivity factor by using the same procedure but don't forget that this equation only used for for Egypt and uh, Ethiopia so if you are Indian you can employ these three equations and if you are in Dehradun you can use this equation if you are in North Jordan you can use this equation if you are in Thailand you can use this equation but the procedure the procedure is the same but you have to employ your own equation even you can use other equations which are developed by different orders if I'm not included the equations here so thank you for listening if you like this video please subscribe my channel bye